How's the break been? A bit frustrating because you've been in a good sequence of results? Um, yes, obviously it's a bit frustrating, obviously the boys that are left behind, um, it's, it's, it's a long time for us but uh, it's equally as good as the boys getting called up for their country, it's, it's good on them and they're doing the club proud. And, but yeah, we've just got to um, keep ourselves right and, and wait for the games to come back around. How much um, of an opportunity have you got in the next few games to really stake a claim for that, um, maybe even second or third, or third place in the league, there's been teams around you dropping points, you've been going quite well. When you look at the fixture list in the next few games, what do you what do you make of it? Yeah, it's a massive opportunity. Um, you know we're in a good place at the moment, but there's also teams chasing us as well that would that would want to be in our position. But we just need to take it game by game. We've got a good good run of fixtures coming up for in a week, so we just need to keep ourselves right and, and take it game by game. The manager was uh, repeating his comments from after the St Johnston game just a short time ago. He's unfair. He's unhappy about some of the treatment that the players have been getting this season. He thinks that. It goes beyond just simple bad tackles. Um, you're a winger, you know. You attract probably a lot of uh, treatment from fullbacks and centre halves and whatnot. What have you made of uh, the treatment, if you want to call it that, from other players? Yeah, I'm, I'm not not normally one to complain about it. You know, I also get on the end of a few crunching challenges myself, but it's part and parcel of the game. You've just got to get on with it and um, respect the referee's decision. You know, it, just leave that up to the manager to, to complain. But I just say we can. <laughs> And just get on with it and, and do what we do on the pitch. Does it make a difference with Neil not in the dugout? No, you can still hear him from anywhere, so it <laughs> doesn't really matter. But nah, it's, he comes in for the game and obviously you see him at the end, but you know that the information still gets passed on to the park, so everything still applies the same. I was asking you know, earlier on about the relationship between players, managers, and, and referees nowadays. What's your experiences of it with, with referees? It? Can you speak to them during games, or are they, is there a, a line between you and them where it's basically they just go on with their job and you go I think they try and get on with their job, obviously, tempers flare on the pitch, and sometimes they're, they're not approachable, sometimes they are, but obviously they just, the new rule is that you've got to speak to the captains and stuff like that now, but every time I have went to approach them, it's, it's just back away and that's, that's it, but as you say, it's, when a decision's given, it's given, and you can complain all you want, I don't think he's going to change it, so... As you say, you've just got to, you've got to take it on the chin. Can you have a discussion with him at all? Or is it just I've tried a few up? times, but it's just flew past him and he's, he's ran away from me. But like I say, it's, it's, he's made his decision and I can scream, all, all, scream at him all he wants. He's not going to change his mind. It must be quick if he's getting away from you. Aye, I think he just wants to get away from me. <laughs> Your targets now, when, when you came to the club, was to, to establish yourself as a, as a player here. What are you what are you looking for now in your career, man? Um, just keep working hard with Hibs at the moment. Um, you know I'm in a good place at the moment. The manager's getting the best out of me. Obviously, I want to contribute to more goals and assists and take take this team to as high as I can. And obviously, just keep um, keep producing week in week out and be more consistent um, with my play. And you know I'm, if I feel like I'm doing well at the moment, and you know I just want to stay at that stay at that at the moment and. You know, if anything else comes across, I'll just um, I'll deal with it when it comes. Quite a few of the team have been recognised recently with international clubs. McGinn has obviously been involved for a while. Dylan came in but had to pull out. Paul Hanlon was involved <coughs> in the game against the Netherlands. What message does that say to other players in the team like yourselves about the prospects you might have at that level? Yeah, obviously we have a good bunch here and we're doing well in the league at the moment. Everyone's doing well, they're all pulling their weight and you know they're getting recognised. And I'm sure if the rest of us... Um, keep chapel on the door then maybe you never know, uh, it might happen, it might not but as you say you can only keep doing what you do best on a Saturday and in every other game and yeah, you, you just never know in the future. Is it something you've thought much about? No, I've never really thought about it, as I say, I just I keep working hard and training every day and try to improve myself and get better and as you say, if, if anything comes along I'm, I'm sure you'd gasp it with two hands. You qualify for two countries though, don't you? Yeah, Australia at the moment, so um, I'm just trying to sort out a passport and you know, whatever, whatever comes along that way, comes along. I think you're in the World Cup this year, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, but as you say, I'm, I'm not looking that far ahead. <laughs> have you spoken to anybody from the Australian FA? Um, the club, have, um, they've spoken to their representatives from that side, and as you say, I just need to keep working hard, and whatever comes, it comes. Is it, there's a few players who we think only qualify for Scotland, but they go all over the world. David Wallace, I think, in Canada, I think, recently. Yeah, I've seen that the other day, yeah. Yeah, so 
It's there, isn't it? It is, uh, yeah. You see people playing international f football that are born in different countries all the time and grandparents and that. You know, there's a few that do it for Scotland and as you say, it's equally as, as I'm sure they're honoured as well and you know, it's a good achievement for them. And you've got an Aussie here. Is he putting in a good work for you? Hopefully, yeah. Aye, hopefully. But, you know, he's he's been in the squad, but obviously never made the cut. But he's he's chapping on the door and he's been playing well here. So, hopefully he can continue. You just mentioned a few more goals of assists perhaps in your game. Is that something, that end product, something you perhaps need to add to take your game on to the next level? Yeah, 100%. You know, I'm, I've been in a lot of positions this year. Um, you know, and squandered the chance. But sometimes... Um, I've scored more goals than I have last year anyway, so hopefully I can uh, kick on and, and I've not really set myself any targets, but you know, as, as long as I can um, keep producing, setting up for, for people and scoring goals myself, then I'll be happy. How do, you, how do you improve on that? Is it just working out on the training ground? Is it a confidence thing? How, how do you take it from the training pitch into a game? Yeah, obviously you need to just keep working. You know, I'm doing a lot of shooting after training uh, with the other strikers and I'm doing a lot of crossing the finishing and that and you know it's you can't really take training in a game it's just a completely different level but as you say if I keep working on um, game like types and hopefully it can hopefully I start reaping the benefits. Perfect thank you very much.